Itan, guys, welcome back to another episode. Um, I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Uh, today, another powerful cognition I want to share about the importance of Guru Disciple relationship, and that's a very deep subject, so I'm going to give uh, perhaps a touch of it in this video, but uh, most likely we'll go into more details in other videos in the future. And that is, what is, why Guru has to be in the physical form and why we also, to, uh, we also engage with deities um, and doing pujas, rituals to deities, especially in the age of Kali Yuga. So the age of Kali Yuga is considered the lowest of ages where we experience life at the lowest frequencies. And one thing that happens a lot in today's world, because we do not have the right knowledge at a young age, we get confused and powerless about life. And what happens is that we start to experience a lot, a lot of suffering. So what did we do to fix that? Somehow we are keeping ourselves entertained so that we kind of forget that we are unfulfilled and, um, and, and, and suffering about the way we exist. And so what that does is that unfortunately the entertainment industry to keep us kind of um, active and alive they bombard our five senses and our five senses because they're constantly bombarded in various ways light sound uh, visuals um, smells uh, many things so all these things are constantly happening and what happens is that our senses become very dull and we experience life only at its gross level so one reason why we need guru uh, deities, but especially Guru, in the living form is that he needs to engage us in the five senses. When you worship the Guru, when you practice different forms of worship, your senses have to be engaged. The experience of the ultimate should not only be cognized at subtle levels, for example through meditations and contemplations, but it should be also experienced at the grosser levels through the five senses so that the experience can be complete and it can penetrate through all the layers of our existence, all the frequencies of our existence. Once that experience of divine goes through everything and permeates everything, then we experience that complete completion and we establish ourselves in the space of Paramashivoham. So whenever you listen to the Guru, you imbibe his body language, you, um, you know, smell the incense or the aroma, when your eyes are engaged, when your the Guru is hugging you or giving you instructions or training you, your senses are engaged from the context of the Divine because Guru is seen as the embodiment of Paramashiva. He is the embodiment of Paramashiva as a matter of fact. So keeping that in mind, when your senses get engaged to that extent to that depth into the gross um, or I should say yeah raw experience of life then that uh, divine experience also gets stored in you to that depth and that allows the shift to happen and to complete all this um, senses abuse that we've been uh, subject to since most likely the beginning of our lives so that's one thing I wanted to share. I'll dive deeper into it because that's a very uh, powerful thing. And um, in another episode, so I'll see you guys soon. Nityanandam.